हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टुडेज जी के लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग साउथ अफ्रीकन लॉज प्रॉम्प्टेड महात्मा गांधी टू स्टार्ट हिज फर्स्ट सत्याग्रह ट्रांसवाल इमिग्रेशन एक्ट नेटल असेंबली बिल कैलकटा क्वाड्रून एक्ट और ब्लैक एक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ब्लैक एक्ट एशियाटिक लॉ अमेंडमेंट एक्ट द एशियाटिक लॉ अमेंडमेंट एक्ट Colloquially known as the Black Act was the South African legislation that was of great concern to Gandhi ji and the Indian community. It prompted him to start his first satyagraha. Introduced in 1906 in Transvaal South Africa, this law was discriminatory towards the Indian community. It required all Asians to register and carry an identification pass at all times. Recognizing the oppressive nature of the act, Gandhi ji saw it as a direct affront to the dignity and rights of the Indian community in South Africa. It became the catalyst for his involvement in direct activism against racial discrimination. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Now let's begin today's session. First question is: Recently, the Intelligent Grievance Monitoring System 2.0 has been launched by which of the following? Ministry of Communications Ministry of Personal Public Grievances and Pensions Ministry of Cooperation or Ministry of Information and Broadcasting The correct answer is option B Ministry of Personal Public Grievances and Pensions Recently the Union Minister of State Independent Charge Science and Technology MOS Personal Public Grievances Pensions has launched the Intelligent Grievance Monitoring System 2.0 It is an initiative of Ministry of Personal Public Grievances and Pensions. The Intelligent Grievance Monitoring System 2.0 dashboard has been implemented by IIT Kanpur following an MOU with the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances. The dashboard provides instant tabular analysis of grievances filed and disposed, state-wise and district-wise grievances filed and ministry-wise data. The dashboard will also help the officials identify the root cause of the grievance. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the stag horn coral. One, it is found typically in clear shallow water on coral reefs. Two, their colonies are golden tan or pale brown with white tips. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C both 1 and 2. Recently a genome wide survey of highly endangered staghorn coral in the Caribbean has identified 10 genomic resilience against white band disease. It is found typically in clear shallow water 15 to 60 feet on coral reefs throughout the Bahamas, Florida and the Caribbean. Hence statement 1 is correct. Staghorn coral colonies are golden tan or pale brown with white tips. and they got their color from the algae that live within their tissue hence statement 2 is correct it is particularly susceptible to white band and white plague therefore option c is the correct answer next question is what is the iucn status of pygmy hog sometimes seen in the news critically endangered vulnerable extinct in the wild or endangered the correct answer is option a critically endangered Recently 18 captive bred pygmy hogs were released in Western Assam's Manas National Park and Tiger Reserve. It is the smallest and rarest species of wild pig in the world. It is an indicator species as its presence reflects the health of its primary habitat, tall and wet grasslands. Currently the viable population of this pig in the wild in India is in the Manas Tiger Reserve in Assam. The IUCN status of the pygmy hog is critically endangered. and it falls under the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 therefore option a is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding the term macrophages sometimes seen in the news one it is a type of red blood cell two it plays an important role in protecting host from the infection three it produces a variety of cytokines how many of the statements given above is or are correct Only one, only two, all three, or none. The correct answer is option B. Only two. Recently, the researchers have detected senescent macrophages in the lung that not only remained but also supported tumor growth in a recent cancer cell study. Macrophages are a type of white blood cells that plays an important role in the human immune system. Hence, statement one is not correct. They are involved in the detection, phagocytosis, and destruction of bacteria and other harmful organisms. 
they can modify themselves to form different structures in order to fight various different microbes and invaders. In this way, macrophages provide the first line of defense in protecting the host from infection. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Macrophages produce a variety of cytokines which are signaling molecules that communicate with other cells of the immune system. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the term internet cookies. 1. It contains tiny amounts of data about users in text files. 2. It is of two types only that is session cookies and secure cookies. Which of the following statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the internet cookies were seen in the news in connection the digital privacy regulations in India. The cookies contain tiny amounts of data about users in text files that act like a website's memory. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The website uses it to identify users and their devices which also stores these cookies. There are three types of internet cookies, session cookies, persistent cookies and secure cookies. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Whenever a user visits the same website, the cookies identify him or her and make it show relevant information. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Toto language. 1. It is written in Bengali script. 2. It is spoken presently in few parts of Bhutan. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, the Toto Shabda Sangraha, a dictionary has been compiled to save the Toto language from extinction. It is a Sino-Tibetan language spoken by the tribal Toto people and is written in the Bengali script. Hence, statement 1 is correct. A prominent community member, Dhaniram Toto developed a script as recently as in 2015. It is spoken by barely 1,600 people living in parts of West Bengal bordering Bhutan. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The dictionary has been compiled by Bhakta Toto, a bank employee compoet and published jointly by the Trust and Bhasha Samsad. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, recently the Noor 3 satellite was seen in the news. It is developed by which of the following countries? Pakistan, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia or Iran? The correct answer is option D, Iran. Recently, Noor 3 imaging satellite has been launched into space by Iran. It is satellite with potential spying capabilities boosting Iran's abilities in space. It has been put in an orbit 450 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It was launched by the three-stage Qasid or messenger carrier. The launch was carried out by the aerospace arm of Iran's paramilitary revolutionary guard. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the term Calypso mission recently seen in the news. 1. It is a project of NASA only. 2. It is a satellite-based observatory. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that is NASA, announced the end of Calypso mission that analyzed climate, weather and air quality. Calypso, that is Cloud, Aerosol, LIDAR and Infrared Pathfinder Satellite Observations is a mission dedicated to studying how clouds and aerosols impact the Earth's climate. It is joint project of NASA and CNES, that is Center National Attitudes Spatials, the French Space Agency. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. Calypso, which is a satellite-based observatory, was launched in 2016. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Scientists are using data from Calypso to construct 3D models of the atmosphere that improve our ability to predict future climate change. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is sometimes seen in the news, the pink ball worm affects which of the following crops? Wheat, paddy, maize or cotton? The correct answer is option D, cotton. Recently, the pink ball worm is becoming more widespread and serious than ever before in the states of Rajasthan and Haryana. It is one of the most destructive pests of cotton. The pink ball worm is originally native to India and is now recorded in nearly all the cotton growing countries of the world. The adults lay eggs on cotton balls. Once hatched, the larvae eat the seeds and damage the fibers of the cotton, reducing the yield and quality. It has also been observed to attack hibiscus, okra and 
polyhock plants therefore option d is the correct answer last question is consider the following statements regarding the protection of children from sexual offenses that is poxo act one it is administered by ministry of women and child development two it covers sexual assault and sexual harassment only three it is not a gender neutral act how many of the statements given above is or are correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option a only one recently the law commission advised the government not to change the existing minimum age of consent under the protection of children from sexual offenses act it is administered by the ministry of women and child development hence statement 1 is correct the act was designed to protect children aged less than 18 from sexual assault sexual harassment and pornography offenses hence statement 2 is not correct it also provides for the establishment of special courts for the trial of such offenses and related matters and incidents the poxo act establishes a gender neutral tone for the legal framework available to child sexual abuse victims by defining a child as any person under the age of 18 hence statement 3 is not correct therefore option a is the correct answer now it's time for the practice question recently a new species of tarantula named chilobrachis Natani sharam has been found from which of the following Indonesia Malaysia Thailand or Vietnam send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching